I thought that it would be a nice idea to put the amp away. It's behind me now. Put the electric guitar away and play something that I just played, but take a different approach to it. You may know on the electric guitar you have a longer scale length to work with. Well, this is a three quarter guitar. We're not gonna worry about amp settings. We're gonna strictly worry about how to make your power chords sound good, and this is something I was working out. So I was starting out with this thickest string played by itself, and it's this thickest string in combination with this movable shape, because here's the thing, this is a movable shape. The power chord is it's not a major chord, it's not a minor chord, so you're not really able to put your finger on it, no pun intended. So you hit this thickest string, and I was playing this twice. Now that's with the first finger on the third fret. So that's one thing there. This middle finger has to be clear. Once that starts getting in the way, you're getting that distracting sound that you don't want. land precisely and before you start you can't see when you move you want to land precisely and you don't want to start picking until you have landed in the, in the right position or else you're going to get a deadened sound so when I hit this I waited till I was in position and then I picked it let's see where did I start timing move land in position notice I hit a little harder there that's another thing how to make it sound good where do you hit the strings harder something to think about. Now, then you heard me play a version that was, or a different riff really, altogether that was similar concept, but it's, of course, it's just a little bit harder. So if you're up for that, you would start at the fifth fret with the thickest string, and you just start by playing that fifth fret thickest string once. So you already kind of got half the shape down. Because you, you, the thing is, with a chord, right, or irregular, like say, take your chord C. There's certain notes in there defining that chord, okay? The power chord doesn't have it. The power chord has these two notes. You're moving the shape around, and it's not like this power chord is going to be a substitute for your normal chords if you're a beginner and you never played, you know, your C and so forth. This is not going to be a replacement. You need to learn those chords first, in my, in my humble opinion. But if you're ready for this, you go play this once, and you play your two strings. Then the open uh, sixth string, which I said works together with this shape to make this whole video concept come together. Then you move it. Notice that it's open and then I'm fretting a note. Now how do I... I was plucking that. Hold it 
fifth string. Hammer on and pull on the first finger, second fret, fifth string. And actually, it's all played, everything, I shouldn't mention this, it's all played with this finger, really. And you know why? Because you want to be able to land in the appropriate position, that's why. That's the whole reason for appropriate fingerings on the instrument and everything. So it's all played with this first. I don't think I mentioned that in the previous one. And the, the pull-offs, that's another thing. You want that to sound clear, but not too boomy. If you, if you don't want a floppy sound, that's going to sound bad. So you want it to be where it kind of rolls off with a little flick. They should call it flick off. That's not what you want. That's not what you want. It's too, that's too boomy. So you want it like I played, you know, for you in the, I'll call it a shorts. Landing here, landing here, and that's why I say it's all connected with this finger. Really just moving. Start with this, but once you start to incorporate other elements, you, know, you need to be able to land back so that would connect like this. So the power chord itself, it's you know, it's it it probably made its first appearance with blues, but it's an essential chord with rock. It's a chord that, you know, you can turn up the amp and you can have your distortion and so on. It'll sound good. But I made the last video. It didn't really have distortion or anything, or high levels of gain or any special effects. I don't like pedals. I, I'm not a fan of effects pedals at all. But I will say that I did the last video with the electric guitar and I was thinking, you know what? I had this guitar nearby. Let's not talk specifically about, you know, this fret, that fret, because I already did that. Let's talk about how to make your power chord sound good starts off with having a guitar that's very comfortable to you and and you have to be clear of the strings where you want to be my thumb if you can see it is positioned like this it's almost in between everything you know be aware of your thumb positioning you need to just naturally know when to land and if you're moving the shape around even you're not even if you're not just focusing on the thickest two strings, for example, then you have to take that into account. I'm showing you how to get your foot in the door with this, um, and a little bit beyond when you start creating your own riffs. Move here. Notice I'm ready to play when I get there. the neck you have to be aware that you got less space to kind of slide all over the place you got to land with precision this is kind of with this one to make it power chord sound good this index finger kind of acts like an anchor you could think of it as an anchor finger but you have to recognize the tones of that open string, open fat string.
show this hand at all. Like this. This will be the end because I'm running out of space. So here's the easy version. Focus on this string. You don't want to do a super close. -up. So here's the easy one. Okay, two strings, and sometimes you're going to hit it harder than others. time I cheated I used the I didn't cheat but I I used the middle finger and for one of those pull offs. So I would recommend stick with the stick with this finger here. Yeah, and as I said, it's the thickest string that gets put together with the power chord shape, making this lesson something that you have to come back to over and over again. Told you if you have trouble with the second one, just focus on the first one. And try to create something unique to you. But I gotta go.